Hi, I'm Joe McNally, Nikon Ambassador. I'm here with the folks at Hangar 95, and we're going to be flying over one of the most amazing places on Earth, New York City. We have this helicopter lit with the latest in Nikon technology, the SB5000 radio TTL flashes. I'm going to be triggering them from another helicopter, with the backdrop being New York City. Let me show you how we're going to do that. This is the basic lighting grid. We're rigging the helicopter effectively, but minimally, OK? Two flashes constitute our main light. Our model is going to be outside the helicopter, standing on a skid, looking towards these lights. They're fitted with Lasolite Speedlight 2 boxes that have grids on them, so you control the flow of light and don't have it spill all over the helicopter. So everything up here has got to be really controlled. There's a couple other lights in here that are accenting certain areas of the helicopter. Let me show you those. Now this light here is gelled red. It's washing forward and bouncing into like a little bit of a fillboard that we created with gaffer tape on the floor of the helicopter. These lights are gelled slightly warm. This one's full blown red, trying to simulate the idea of possible instrumentation lighting. It has no shaper on it. It's just a little pop. And the happy accident, if you will, is that it washed backwards and sort of lit the back of the helicopter. So we had definition throughout the cab. Just the one light is doing that for us. Really lucky with the placement of it. So you have to light the pilot, but you have to light the pilot in a way that doesn't interfere with the operation of the aircraft. So we found a strut over here, put a clamp on it, and a grid, and a warming gel. This is another group. I'm controlling all these groups of lights from my helicopter, which is 75 to 125 feet away, via the WRR10, which is the transceiver that speaks to each of these lights. I'm able to tell them a power level that looks good back at camera. So the helicopter is rigged, super excited. We're about to go in the air. Our model is going to be on the skids. She's going to be lit with SB 5000s. I'll be in another helicopter. Now we're just looking at light and waiting for the sun to go down a little bit. And it should be an amazing night in the air.